In this video, you will learn how you can send the requests to the postman for different types of content types. So let's get started. So as you can see on the screen, we have got one request and the HTTP method that we are using here is post. So we are going to see what is form data, then XWW form URL encoded, raw, binary, GraphQL, all these options. Like what is the significance of these options in postman? So generally, if you want to send the post request to the server, there can be several ways in which you can send the data in the body. So it can be sent in the form of form data or it can be sent in the form of WW form URL encoded in that particular type. Or it can be sent in the raw format or it can be sent in the binary format or in the graphic GraphQL format. So let's get started with the form data. Form data is basically, uh, you can think about the HTML form. So whenever you fill the form on the website, for example, for the registration, you enter first name, last name, phone number, and then hit submit. And then the user will be created on the server. So basically the same thing happens here. So if you want to send that kind of data in the body, then you can use the form data. And XWWW form URL encoded. So this is similar to the form data. Only difference between this and the URL encoded data is that in the form data, you can also send the files as well. So if you select, say, if you want to send file one, then you can select files here. If you want to send some other input parameters, for example, first name. So if you click on this field, you can see there, there is a text or the file. Okay. So you can also send the files as well uh, when you select the form data. But if you select this XWW form URL encoded, you can only send the strings. So key value pairs. Okay. So if I just click on this code button, you can see that on the right hand side, it will display. Uh, if you select the form data, the content type is going to be multi-part form data and then boundary. So boundary is used to define the sections of the data. So in multi-part, what happens is that you can send the data in multiple parts, for example. So you can also send the file as well as the like name and value pairs. And to separate them, you can use the boundary. So if you select this XWW form URL encoded, you can see the content type has now changed to application slash form URL encoded. The only difference here is that you can't select the file. Let's move to the next one raw. So what is the difference between raw and form data or uh, any other methods? So with the raw, what happens is that you can select the method uh, with which you want to send the data. So here you can see there is a drop down and you can select different types of uh, data that you want to send. Like you can send the JSON, JavaScript, text, HTML, XML, and based upon that, the content type will change as well. So right now I'm going to select the JSON. And you can see the content type is now changed to application slash JSON. And then in the body, you can send this JSON data. So similarly, if you want to send the XML, you can say select XML and you can see the content type will change to the application XML and so on and so forth for others as well. The next one is binary. So sometimes you want to upload the binary files as well. So you can select the binary and then select the file that you want to send. So I'm going to select a .ica file, which is used for the Citrix connections. So it's a binary file. So if I just open that, you can see the content type is now changed to application slash octet stream. Okay. And finally, GraphQL. So GraphQL is basically here the application, uh, the content type is application slash JSON as well. The only difference is that the way we send the JSON has got specific format. For example, we have to specify the query and the variables and then server will respond accordingly. So basically these are all the methods that you can use uh, to send the data from client to the server in the post one. I hope this video was useful to you. If you have more questions on this, let me know through the comments. Thank you for watching.